I've just watched your live video, Sheffy, and I must say you've raised some good points in there, some of which contradict you, some are actually valid. Like you said, that appearance, Kudiakuriba Bowman, you were actually there because you love Lubuto, that's your hood, you've been there for some time. You, when you had like your first show, and you felt the need to be there with your people as he was giving his truck. What you didn't anticipate was the political vibe. <sighs> Who doesn't anticipate that dude? Wherever that dude goes, Kandas are there. And wherever he goes, Kudiftenge, everything will end up looking like a rally in the end. So to say you didn't anticipate that, I. No, I wasn't buying that. But what I did get though were your good intentions saying you love your people. But come to think of it, you would have done that on your own. People would still come out in numbers to see you if you had to give out something charity based. It would still be the same crowd, even bigger, because you are that big. I just don't understand why it had to be political or politically affiliated, because it makes you look bad. Nothing against PF, nothing against UPND, nothing against any of the other political parties in here. And you said, conversation. What do you mean by that? JK is the poster child for an artist who was going so right and then went so wrong because of all of these political affiliations. It destroyed his legacy, in my opinion. And as much as you guys would like to say, I want to I feel like sometimes legacy is better because people will respect your music and your music will stand the test of time if you protect it. How many people still listen to JK's first album without condemning him? Again, this is not a jab at the PF. I know who I vote for and I know who I voted for and I don't want any of this to be about politics, I'm just saying, as a brand. You led us to believe you are the people's champ keeping the people in high positions or the powers that be in check, keeping them accountable without all these political affiliations. So to say, I only went there for the charity thing. Mm, guys, as much as you did, people might not buy that. People might not buy that because it looked like a rally fam. So in future, you might not want to... Want to Injure your brand in this way because you know how Zambia is. Zambia thinks politics is a dirty game, and that's what I think. That's that's really what I think. I, I would have imagined what each analyze situation either before you could go in like that. So I'm still not convinced. And to say the thing of ah, understand me, shibafe, my day ones. People who know me, family and friends, know that. My intentions were actually what I went there to do, and that's for charity, not to be a political kind of fam. How many of us now love you as fans? Can we all be your day ones? No, but we could be critical of the situation we saw. And we think you are now <laughs> politically affiliated, fam. That's what we saw with our eyes. Not, not all of us will get close to you and know you like your day ones, but what we see will make us worried for your brand. That's all. Even though you don't want to feel like a celebrity, you don't hold yourself in that regard, you inspire some people with the lyrics and the things you say on songs. So to contradict yourself by going on such stages only makes it hard to watch, fam. Even though your intentions are good. You raised another point saying, Politicians will always make things look political even though it was just charity and even though it was not meant to look that way. That's what they do. That's what they do. They, they manipulate issues to make it look good for them and give them the benefits they want from that thing. So even though your intentions are pure, they look at it as political mileage. That's it. You've had people compliment your album, even on Twitter, in HH and all these other people. When your Bon Appetit album came out and people were buying it, you had all those people complimenting you. What, you thought that was innocent? Some of it was, some of it, no, fam. It's just political mileage, that's what they do. So, 
as a brand, you're going to have to be careful, fam. You're going to have to be careful. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So to say, yo, ngatawa, Stephie, understand me, shia. Okay, mwena fe mama nsaya leisa. Ish. Fam, for someone who doesn't, who says they don't really know how to explain themselves because they get mis misunderstood, you shouldn't do some of these things that you, that you, that you, that you're now doing. You, you really shouldn't. Even, even though you say, yo, uh, I'll prove to you that I'm not a political card. Okay. We'll see. But I believe you. I just think you should have calculated better. One of the points you made in your live video that contradicts you before I go right quick is where you said, I only want to be known for the music. I only want to be making headlines because of the music. For someone who wants to be making headlines because of the music, don't you think jumping on stage with politicians and drumming up support for whatever they are doing, even though you feel it's pure, don't you think that immediately puts you in other headlines, political headlines, in another light? with people who actually don't mess with politics like that because we all know what politics can do Mozambia for an artist's legacy don't you think it can become my headlines yeah and even though you only want to be known for the music that's it Sheffy. that's all I wanted to say man whether you take this or not but what you did even though you had the purest intentions made you look another way damn